ராய பண்ணால மைகள் நான் Let me set the actual scene for you, okay? We got Michael, who is a local don who helps people with injustice that they're dealing with every single day. He's for the people, by the people, but has to confront his past as being a soccer player after his brother gets injured and cannot coach a girl soccer team. Now he must coach the team while also dealing with his past. Man, you you might think, okay, even if it's a cliché movie, it's it's going to be all right. It's going to be something there where you're like, okay, even though it's a sports movie and we've seen dramas like this before, maybe this movie's intriguing. Maybe it's different, right? Especially when you have Vijay's name to it. You know that the movie's going to be baller. I mean, honestly, What else do you want, right? Well, pfft, other garbage. Biggle for me is not a movie worth watching in cinemas or just watching at all. It's a 3-hour mess of a movie that has like way over dramatized soccer plays that they do. I think Atley doesn't even know how the game of soccer even works and the way they invoke invoke uh, invoke tension sadness in this movie is a bit way too much but what i would say is at least strength and this has been his strength for all the movies he's directed so far in his 10 years as a director is that his devastating moments are disturbing and i'm not saying it's gory or it's way over the top like this whatever event that he's trying to foreshadow there's a lot of emphasis on what is going to happen before and the impact that you're going to see in the future there is so much in it where your your heart is just bumping faster and faster and when it happens oh uh, you're in for the ride it at least knows how to make something even something minuscule as someone just getting shot so traumatic and so you know heart wrenching just to watch where you're just like wow that's that's a scene that i didn't want to see but now i'm seeing it right that being said though in this film my favorite character alone is michael biggles father rampen he's just the best character in this whole film and it feels like it's very fully fleshed out there's a lot of development a lot of maturity he acts like a totally different character even though it's vijay it's double acting every time they do this it pisses me off considering that it feels like the same guy doing two roles but it, it it just doesn't feel like a different person they feel like the exact same not this film he is a totally different character different ideas and morals that are put in to him and there's a lot of development you actually feel for the guy you you every time he's there every time you're there with the son and the father that that dynamic that duo kind of just makes you go yeah can can we have more of this it is very surprising that at least somehow pull this part off it was very engaged and very interested in what is going to happen i would say this if you're like not a vijay fan if you think that his films are garbage and they're they're not good i would say point to atli point to the directors who make these films cuz he has talent case in point these scenes that i'm about to show you definitely show why vijay is an actor that i appreciate love from the start i mean i've been watching this guy ever since i was 4 years old right i've been seeing his movies all all the way to the 2000s. This guy is so charismatic. He has everything going for him. But for some reason he's been kind of I don't know, in my family not everyone doesn't want to see a film, the Tamil film. And these scenes are why Tamil movies are so great. They they have the ability to like move you. அவன் ரொம்ப பண்றானுங்க இந்த வாரம் மட்டும் 13 சம்பவம். அதுல நம்ம ஆளுங்க எட்டு பேர். நீ அமைதியா போற அவனுக்கு இதா சாகுற ரொம்ப ஆறானுங்க ராவுத்ரி கடிகிட்ட அந்த பஞ்சாயத்து பசனா நல்லா இருக்கு நீ என்ன ஐ மீ டேக் திஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சீன் அண்ட் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபௌட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் தி இன்ட்ரோ டு ராயப்பன்ஸ் கரெக்டர் நவ ஆப்வியஸ்லி we we kind of know that there's a back story attached to why michael is slandered or why he's not you know being a coach and so on and why he's not the player he is because you already saw before that he's just a beastly of a player uh, it threw out the scenes now honestly i don't really like that considering that it's very gimmicky but really when watching this film Ryan's intro by far is one of the greatest intros that Atley has done in a film it's very well fleshed out he knows 
how action is supposed to be done and everything's very very concise in two minutes and it feels like an experience okay Alex and Ryan going at each other for saying the same exact thing that they're both saying but interconnected between them I mean it, it is cinematography at its finest with different angles blurring out the background you know even the part where Vijay is taking the knife only to cut to his eyes. It, it's perfect, right? It's perfect. And what I love is even the small little details of him turning around each and every side, north, east, west, and south, and seeing all the rowdies just like push away a little bit, just push away, even the back, right? And that just makes you smile, being like, yo, this guy is a presence. There is something to him that freaks people out. He's just not an old dude. He He's badass, right? And when he throws down, come on, when he throws down and makes one guy flinch, you know that shit's going down. You know that it is awesome to see Vijay in his prime, only for him to just leave, you know? He made a statement, and that's all he needed to do. There was nothing more, nothing less. And that's what makes even Atli, who has the potential to be a director that can make a film so great, Make a film better, even with Vijay. Vijay is an all-star, you know, the dude can act. But yet somehow doesn't utilize into his full acting potential. Bigle? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, this honestly is my favorite scene in the whole entire movie. Like, forget every scene in this movie. This is done so well. It feels like two people talking, especially the father kind of telling the son. A maturity bond there. And they feel like different people, like I said in the beginning. There's, there's no way about it. And just their relationship, the maturity of what Ryan's telling his son and so on. And the Air Rahman music. Air Rahman is just my favorite composer, obviously. There's so many composers in the Tamil industry, but Air Rahman definitely does what he needs to do, okay? He his background scores, his songs in the movie are so well done. And this is just my one of my favorite scores. சண்டைகள்ட்டுமெண்ட் <laughs> Perfect. It has that ominous feel to it. Like you know that in the end something's gonna happen to the father. You've seen it in the movie before where the father isn't even there. What has happened to him? And so you know the intrigues there, you just want to know how. But the foreshadowing of like with something ominous happening to him while also giving a little bit of hope at the same time is very hard to pull off even in a score alone. Ryan been telling Michael to drink as a joke only to like go into it where he says that okay uh, you know one day when my dad told me to drink i just drank it immediately and then he also gave me a knife and that's what i'm doing and it just has to stop with me it's so perfect the dialogue kind of just goes in one at a time it starts off with the joke it's funny it's good then it starts off with like no this is not the way to go okay Everything has to stop, all right? And it's funny how he introduces, oh, we, we introduce a church, a playground, a school, but soccer is what made it. And even that one scene, it's just, oh my God, that was perfect, right? It's not him, it's not Michael, it's the name. It's what makes people go, wow, I want to aspire to be like him. And it just feels so inspiring about Ryan's dream. is. Oh, Ryan. கையோட கூட்டார சொல்லிருக்காங்க வந்துடுறேன் வாங்க 
I would say though the next scene my it's, it's a very small scene very short scene in this film But definitely has the impact that makes the film just you know give you a little jolt is when you know Ripon's forcefully you know taken by the police officer Michael puts hands on the cop and it's just it gives you that jolt and you know how Ripon feels about that You just immediately know not only because of a Ramadan score that little jolt that they give you but also just like that gives you a little bit of a pause of like what's gonna happen. It gives you that intrigue only for them to have a conversation afterwards after Ryan yells at Michael. They have a conversation in, in his room. And, oh my god. It is just so I, I understand what Ryan's feeling. You 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 feel his pain a little bit. He's scared. He's freaking out. He has to stutter in the movie, and I think sometimes villains or heroes or whatever they need to have that little thing so that it makes them interesting. I feel like for some reason this film kind of utilized that where when he has that stutter occasionally, it, it does make him a little vulnerable, you know. And I I I kind of enjoy why they would it's it's a very interesting idea introduced into the film and it feels like a gimmick but it also feels very nicely utilized you know right i've been telling uh, michael you know you, you just gotta let everything go okay they're gonna treat me like this that's how it's gonna go but you're the important you have to do what you gotta do to help this help help us help the people you know and just live your life right you gotta live your life you know without all of this just garbage that we're doing okay what we're doing is it's not okay anymore we need to move on and, and this that makes everything so much more like like you see his maturity in the way he speaks but you also understand michael's immaturity he doesn't know any of this even though he's old enough to realize what his father's doing Man, it's just, oh god. Now obviously you know what's coming and that's Ryapin's death. His death is very, um, it's sad. It's devastating, you know, him getting stabbed in the back. It, it does show that he is getting old in age. Usually they do the whole turn, he thinks like, oh, I see the guy behind me, ooh. But really in this film, they don't do that and I'm glad they didn't. And like, he, he's, he's still fighting and fending for himself, but when he sees Michael after he's just slammed against the brick wall, falling down, just like slowly losing his life. He sees Michael just go ham and kill all these people. You can see just how sad he is, how devastated he is. Like he failed, right? And that's that's not something you want to see. It is just, it's hard to see him. And he, he's just like, he's, he's muttering. He's, he can't have the words to say to stop, right? But it's just, Oh, like it, it, it just sucks, right? And he, he tried his best, he worked his hardest to stop Michael from getting into the life that he did. But really what hurt is like every time in this film they do this thing where you know like you know what I mean? Like you know, just hug me. You know, and it's so sweet. This kind of flips it on his head and you're just like Oh, and they do a slow motion, they both hug while he has his father and his uh, 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 hugging his dead father. It just I don't know how to describe it, but it just hurts when you see it. It's so sad. But when you see him pick up the knife and just stand there, it's it's his turn now. He has to protect the people. And that really is what makes the film interesting. Other than that, the film just dies. I don't know. I'm a Vijay fan, all right? Don't even hate on me. I just love him. I don't care what movie. It could be the worst movie ever, and I'll still go out and see it because I know like I'm gonna have some fun in it because of Vijay. Now that being said though, this film has women empowerment and how w these women are struggling every day to fight, to play, and they even show the acid attack, which like honestly, it's a scene that I would like to mention and has the impact and it's it's scary to think about. There's a woman who's just a house mom and she does, she all she is is a house mom. She can't do anything outside the house. There are all these stereotypes that honestly do exist in India and they do exist in this world and they utilize it right. Problem is as a sports movie, it fails in comparison. They never try to do anything more and they never try to level up the intensity. In the end, you know they're gonna win but just for a while, just make, try to make it so intense. The coach, as big of just he was just a dick. He was horrible. Michael's character was done so poorly. He never had this charisma. He he, he coaches yowl and stuff, and I totally get that. But 
make him an interesting uh, like coach you know somehow like a coach carter or something where he has the ability to care for his players he has that maturity in him you know he yelled at a fat girl but that's not how you do it all right that's not how you coach i mean i'm not a coach but i can tell you not motivating a player sucks there's also a half court kick that is just nearly impossible. The goalie can see. They're not idiots, right? There's so many inconsistencies of how there's no real villain. How, for some reason, Michael, it's been only five years since the incident, but yet somehow people forget. Listen, if I had a, like, a local star that I knew, I wouldn't forget in five years. It'll take me a long ass time to forget who this mystery awesome player was. And for some reason, this guy has been celebrated in the whole, like, Tamil Nadu, why? You know what I mean? There's so many more inconsistencies that I think Atli doesn't know how to direct the film. But I feel like if he sticks with his niche, just his tragedy and how to, you know, give us tragic heroes and let them learn their lessons to become better human beings, even that aspect could make films so much more interesting to see from Atli. No. This film is not good. I think Marisol is just way better, but man, it, there was a lot of potential with this one. I felt like there's a lot of work put into it, but as a story, as a as he wrote the screenplay, wrote the story, directed the film, it needs to be more. And that's all I have to say. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe. As always, you're the best for making it this far. Sayonara, bitches.